became the sort of guard, the palace guards for the sultan. Some of them went on to become very important administrators within the empire, such as viziers and so forth. Okay. Um, some of the most important Debrashermen were, for example, the famous architect Sinan, Nimar Sinan, who actually did not come from the Balkans, but actually came from central Anatolia. I'm not sure exactly his background, but scholars have, have speculated he's either of Greek, Armenian, or perhaps Albanian origin. But we know he came from central Anatolia, not from the Balkans, for example. Uh, another very famous um, um, uh, Deborah Sheme was a, a pasha or vizier, a grand vizier of the sultan called uh, uh, Sokula Mehmed Pasha, who was uh, from the Serb Serbian region. And he also became very, very significant within the ranks of the empire, second or third only to the Ottoman and the prince. Okay? And then I'll conclude with this, okay? And then we can go into the QA. In addition to the dervish system, which really recruited and trained young men to become really part of the, I, would, I don't want to say use the word aristocracy, but certainly part of the elite, both militarily speaking, but also in terms of the political uh, aspects or divisions of the Ottoman Empire, you also had an important issue that every empire goes through, and that is how do you pay for your army? Okay. How do you pay for wars? Because wars, historically, just like today, are very expensive. Because if you don't pay soldiers, what do they do? They desert. They desert what else? Sometimes worse. They turn on you. Yeah, they turn on you. <laughs> right? So in order to make sure they do what they do and keep, you, keep them in line, you have to pay them.